Yo, 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 what's up? Doc Weiser here. In this video, I will talk about who inspired me to become a motovlogger. Why did I sell my motorcycles? Why? Why? And I will ask you a question, and I will present to you another member of Doc Weiser Motor Crew. Pew! The best crew in the world. Okay, so uh, let's -a go! Whee! Oh no! I have never been on this road. Maybe this isn't even a road. Who knows where I will end up. I think I will end up in nowhere actually. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a bad idea. Maybe? Or maybe not? Where is the road? It just disappeared! Okay, let's turn back then. You gotta be careful because... You see these smaller trees here? The packed trees? This is where the boars are sleeping during the day. So... I'm probably scaring them away now. <laughs> it's a powerful motorcycle this is. Very powerful. <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay, so who inspired me to become a, the greatest murder blogger of them all? Okay, yeah, this was a bit too much off road. I'm not allowed to ride here because this isn't considered a road per se. Okay, so who inspired me to becoming a murder blogger? Well, no one really. I did see some international motor vloggers on YouTube before I started but I wouldn't say that I was inspired by them more like I was more inspired to doing videos than doing what they were doing if you know what I mean <gasps> and I've said in an earlier motor vlog about the reasons why I make videos I'm not gonna talk much more about that but yeah I don't really have a a true Ah, oh, I can't ride here. Let's just move on to the then to the, the to the blah, blah, blah. Let's move on to the to the another subject. To the next subject. -o. I have to find some good roads to ride on. Every road that I have taken today has been what you call it, a dead end. Where can I ride? Awkwardly passing through. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just a random dude. Okay, where am I? Where the hell am I? Hmm. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> You just love when the you gotta love when the rear wheel loses grip of what you call it, kind of skids through the curve. It feels so funny. High five! Yeah! High five! Yeah! I'm probably going to go back to that awkward place. He was staring at me, the tractor guy. The old fart. 
Like, what are you doing? Why are you riding here? This is my road. I keep it to death there. I once got yelled at by an old fart because he was like, This is a private road. You can't ride here. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, sure, it can be a private road, but if you don't put up any signs that that uh, traffic isn't allowed, then you, you can't you can't yell at me because you have to put up a sign saying no traffic allowed, or else I can just ride on it because it's a road. Anyway, he was a psycho. Psychopath. Careful now. <sighs> okay, so what was another subject? My goldfish memory doesn't remember. Okay, so why did I sell my motorcycles? That will be the next subject. I'm just gonna be talking about the latest ones, the one that you've seen in my channel. So, I had my Honda Shadow. Which is, a, which is a cruiser, very nice cruiser, you know, because that was my style back then, you know, just riding around, going like 70 kilometers per hour on a nice road, just chilling. And the exhaust was very nice, it sounded like a beast. Bestiale. And, uh, but then, you know, I'm more of the exploring type, you know, like I, I like to find random roads like this one and just want to go on them. And of course, riding a cruiser, that's not really op 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 optimal to do that. So then I was looking for a more dual sport bike, which led me to the Ducati Scrambler, which I had for, for a long time. And it's a great bike, but and I never thought that I would sell it because I just loved it so much. But then when I test rode this bike, the Yamaha 700 Tenere, I just fell in love with it. Okay, so every winter when I can't ride, I used to Google a lot of motorcycles and thought to myself, like, I'm gonna sell my Ducati Scrambler, I'm gonna get this bike or this bike or whatever. Okay, so after the winter, I always got up on my Ducati Scrambler for the first ride of the year and every time I was like ah oh, I can't believe I thought of selling this this is such a great bike and I absolutely love it you know like wah, wah, wah. but then I got the the Yamaha T7 and I rode it for about let's say I think like 1000 kilometers or so and then I went back to ride my Ducati Scrambler and for the first time in forever so for the first time uh, I actually felt like what this isn't fun at all I can't believe I thought this was fun you know because then the bar has been risen or what you call it so now my my fun level was way up here so the Ducati Scrambler didn't come up to that same basically this bike was much more fun to ride than the, than the Ducati Scrambler so at that point, I just knew that riding the Ducati was worthless. It didn't mean anything to me. It was quite boring. I think I rode it into town to buy something and then went back. And you know, I didn't feel any. I didn't feel any fun riding it. So. So that was when I knew that I had to sell my Ducati Scrambler. So so I did. It has. It had served its purpose. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the the Yamaha MT10 as well. Well, here's the thing: I had the scrambler for going off road, and because it was kind of mild. But then I tried the Yamaha MT10, and I absolutely fell in love with it because it's so powerful. I wanted the Yamaha MT10 for a more of a touring bike, you know, to go long distance and just asphalt roads and whatever. And it was a fun bike, but it actually I sold it just because I'm afraid that I would kill myself on it because it's so goddamn powerful. So I was either gonna kill myself by riding too fast or crashing with, into a, like a deer or something. Yeah! 
but also having more bikes means that you have to pay more in for insurance and whatever so it's got pretty expensive for me to have multiple bikes so I sold them if I would like to take a longer trip I want to I want to be able to be able to ride anywhere on any types of roads so if I was going to do some longer trips on, on the MT-10 now that would mean that I would have to ride on these types of roads and riding on a naked bike on on dirt roads and whatever that's really not that good so that is where the the tender ray comes in handy because it's fun enough to, to ride on ordinary roads and it's good to ride off-road and it's more fun than, than the Ducati Scrambler now if I could afford more motorcycles I think I would I would like to have a cruiser again maybe not maybe not a Harley because they're so goddamn expensive but maybe some other cruiser like the Honda VTX or I don't know some some Asian brand of of a cruiser they are reliable and cheap cheaper yeah come on horsey okay so should we move on to the question now okay so my question is this what type of motorcycle videos do you like to watch the most is it more riding videos, like riding on dirt roads or asphalt roads, or is it the compilation clips, the random encounters that I have for example, or is it the exploring, the exploring clips, the videos where I explore stuff, or is it test drives to see different kinds of mo different types of motorcycles? Comment and let me know. Comment. Comment. Comment and let me know what type of video you would like to see. No, that's wrong. Comment what, watch, what, comment what type of videos that you enjoy to watch. Comment what type of video you like to watch the most. I'm not, I'm not talking about my channel per se, I'm just talking in general. Like, what types of roads in general... No, what types of roads? What types of videos do you... <gasps> I saw something. It was an animal. Hey, it wasn't an animal. I thought I thought this was like a some type of animal. No, it was not. So yeah, what type of motorcycle videos do you like to watch the most? And we can have a second question as well. And that would be... Okay, let's go there. Wait a second! I know this place! This is where, where I recorded the 180 turn motorcycle video. Okay, so we can have a second question and that is which of my videos do you think is the best like most fun to watch and we can have a third question which one of my videos do you like the most so what type and which and which one is my best that you think is the best okay you gotta listen to the bike Awesome. Okay, so are we going to present another Dark Horizon Motor Crew member? Yes, we will. Another member of Dark Horizon Motor Crew member. Okay, another member of... Oh, hello. He didn't have a helmet on. That's illegal. It's illegal. That is also illegal. You don't have a helmet on. It is fucking illegal. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say too much because... It's not that I always ride legally, so <laughs> that would be hypocrisy for my part. 
Okay, so should we present another member of the Darkness about the crew? Okay. Now this guy, he's a great guy. He has a motorcycle reseller's shop. And he he lets me test ride motorcycles. He's a very nice guy. You have seen him in some other videos like this one. And that one. And probably some more ones. And it was his motorcycle that is in this video. His old one at least. Uh, so if you're a Swede and you're looking to buy a, 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 a used bike, then this is the guy you should talk to. Now I'm not getting paid to say this. It's just that he honestly is a great guy who knows a lot about selling motorcycles and that's why he he has his own shop he used to work at some other places but you know when you're good at what you're doing you can always start your own business which he did what a great guy so if you're looking to buy an old motorcycle check him out and check his store out <laughs>